Hi everybody, it's Ali Agbarian, your resident road safety expert from Mobility Engineering, back for another Q&A. Thanks again for tuning in and thank you for sending in your questions. And uh, may I remind you once again, we love your questions, we love to answer all the questions, give you all the information you need, provide you with the right info. Um, and so yeah, please send in more questions and as I always say, here's my subscribe pillow. Press the button that looks a little bit like this down there somewhere. Subscribe to the network. We'd love to have you on board. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers. It's a big dream, but we'd love to get there and love your support in getting it there. Uh, we're going to be bringing more content, more information, uh, and more info, basically empowerment to the industry, uh, helping OTs, industry experts, helping out everybody in the industry and end users, of course, um, to make the right decisions, making informed choices, and that's what we're all about. So today's uh, question comes in from an OT, Wendy. Uh, basically, she's um, talking, uh, she's asked a question around about a client that requires transition, a transmission of their vehicle to be changed from uh, manual to automatic as a result of some various injuries. And this is actually a common inquiry we get. We get people that will call us up and they said, oh, I've had a various injury or I've had an issue or something like that, and I've got a manual vehicle and I want to change it to automatic. And what do I do? Who do I go to and see? Is this possible? And so on. As I tell everyone, everything is possible as long as you've got the money to pay for it, and that's the big catch. So, transferring manual to automatic, definitely very possible. Who you would go and see would be a combination of two people, would be a, um, a, a mechanic, or somebody that works with transmissions, mechanics or vehicle, you know, uh, engineers and, and vehicle builders, you know, performance vehicle builders, things like that. Um, and you'd also need to see like a compliance or certifying engineer, depending on the state that you're from. Um, some states require you to deal directly with the government, the state government. Some of them require you to deal directly with the engineer. For example, we're in New South Wales, they require for you to deal with directly with the engineer. They, the state government won't communicate with you about it, and the engineer will tell you what to do and who, who can do what. And they might offer a service that they can do it themselves, or they might get you to work with a mechanic of your choice or something like that. So that's, that's one, um, one way of doing it. Another way is, for example, in Western Australia or, or South Australia, the government, state government directly inspects and, and works with you on those vehicles. So you would approach them, uh, you get an authority that you want to get your vehicle converted, and then, um, and then basically you, know, you go and get the vehicle converted, and they inspect it, and they, they let the converter know what kind of um, you know, constraints they need to do, um, what they need to build it towards, and then you get it built, and they inspect it, and away you go. Now, in terms of the costs, and is it possible? As I said, it's possible, but the cost is where it all tends to fall apart. So what we found in our research, and in our, basically we've actually had to do this quite a lot for expert witness cases and, and in court cases, we've actually had to represent people for this very same thing. So we've had a lot of in-depth experience researching um, you know, various vehicles, various modifications, what things cost. And I can tell you now from direct experience, it's not worth doing it. It is absolutely not worth doing it. We, it. It will cost you thousands upon thousands to do something like this. Lots of things need to be changed. The vehicle needs to be reinforced. Um, you might need to put set of consoles in, you know, take things out. It is a very labor intensive job. And so it is a very, very expensive job, a multi-thousand dollar job. What we have found in almost every single case that we have researched and studied has been that it's much cheaper for them to just sell the vehicle they have or even trade it in for the automatic version of the same vehicle if they really want that same vehicle. And if they're going to be selling their vehicle, they might then open up their choices to a different type of vehicle. But the point is, is what we found is selling that vehicle in its, in its original state, and I've spoken about original state vehicles in the past and I'll explain why in a minute. Selling that vehicle in its original state is going to give you much better bang for buck to be able to then go and buy another vehicle of the, you know, a similar time, type of vehicle, but basically in automatic. Now, First of all, if you convert the vehicle from manual to automatic, that is now a modified vehicle. Now, as I've spoken about on videos in the past, modified vehicles on the car sales market fare very low. So people pay less for modified vehicles. So when you go to sell that vehicle after you've modified it, not only will you pay thousands upon thousands of dollars to modify the vehicle from manual to automatic, but you're going to lose that money plus more uh, when you go to sell it because people do not generally like modified vehicles. They, it gets complicated, engineers reports, all that kind of thing. So if they have a choice, the person would rather go and buy the unmodified manual one, rather than, or automatic one, sorry, rather than the modified automatic one. 
So that's what we found in our research in the industry and that's what we would recommend is just go sell that vehicle as it is and buy a different one. Um, you will find, yes, you might need to make up some costs if you're going to buy the exact same one, but it opens up your choices to, to various different vehicles on the market. Um, so that's what we have found through research would be the recommendation. But as I said, it is possible to do and it's definitely, you know, you need to see an engineer and you need to see, see state government and a mechanic to get it all done. Definitely doable. But you will spend a lot of money. You're going to spend money on the transmission. Um, you're going to spend money, which is going to be a couple of grand, I reckon. Um, the last time we checked, we, we did the last one we did was on a Howard and Rodeo, and a transmission was about two and a half thousand dollars. And the labour we priced around about eight thousand dollars. So that was about ten and a half thousand dollars just to convert it. When as the well, that was almost actually the price of a new vehicle, given that case that we were working on. But the point is, is we found that if they had sold that vehicle and gone and bought the automatic vehicle, I think it was only an extra $500 out of pocket. So in the overall out of pocket scenario, we find that if you sell that vehicle and replace it with the automatic, it's going to be much more economical. And to be honest, in the long run, probably a little bit better and, and, and less technical issues because you haven't had someone pull the whole car apart and, and put it back together. I mean, if it's engineered properly, it should be done well. Um, but again, you know, once people start mucking around with that stuff, it increases the risk of things going wrong. So thanks very much, Wendy, for your question. Hopefully that helps. And I said, as I said to all of you out there, please send in all of your questions. We're happy to answer your questions. And once again, remember to hit that subscribe button. Respect the subscribe pillow, I love it. And um, one other thing I'll mention, as we say over here, we have just launched our 30-year logo. This year is our 30th year in business. We've been in business since 1988. Um, a very key year in Australia to be to start a business, the Bicentennial. But also, um, yeah, we're very proud to be around for 30 years and a very, very dynamic and strong uh, family-orientated Australian company that we are hoping that we can take it to more than 30 years and beyond, um, servicing the industry and keeping up to date with everybody and, and helping out like we did from 1988 all the way to now. So thanks for tuning in again and um, see you next time.